I think everybody knows uh, we are now in this new era of human spaceflight where NASA is a customer, not the owner and operator of the hardware. And so that's very exciting. What's exciting about this upcoming mission is that we are actually going to fly a certified Crew Dragon. And, and, and the idea that we're going from a test vehicle, which was what we flew on DM2, to now a certified crew vehicle for regular rotation of, of flights, um, this, is a, this is another milestone, a critical milestone in the development of our ability to launch American astronauts on American rockets from American soil now sustainably. So these are, these are very exciting times. A couple of things that make this mission even more exciting. Uh, number one, we're going to have uh, an international partner with us on this very first crew mission. Soichi-san from Japan. Uh, he's, of course, a veteran astronaut. He's done amazing work on, on the International Space Station already. Um, and now he's going to go back uh, with us again this time on an American rocket. Um, the other big thing is we're actually increasing the capacity to do research on the International Space Station. So when we increase the number of astronauts on board, we're going to be able to get three times as much science done and three times as much technology development complete. And all of that is critically important for, for our Artemis program and eventually our Mars program. So as we develop Moon to Mars, we're going to be using low Earth orbit to test all of these capabilities and technologies ultimately to create a sustainable return to the moon and then take all of that knowledge um, onto Mars. So, so this particular mission is another critical milestone. We're very excited about it. Um, and, and of course, we've got a great panel today to discuss these and, and other things. So, so thank you, Gary, and I'll look forward to answering questions a little later on. Thank you, Administrator. We'll now hand it over to Kathy Leaders. Thank you so much. I always hate to follow Jim because he does such a great job. So um, I wanted to kind of emphasize that, as Jim had mentioned, this is a great milestone for us. Um, it's a culmination of many, many years of work with NASA and SpaceX. And um, there's a lot of folks out there that have contributed to us getting where we are today. And I really would like to thank the team that has gotten us here. Um, a tremendous amount of work. Um, and, and obviously, for my past job, this means a lot. Um, but I'm really looking forward to, in my new role, continue in to see the success of this commercial crew program. Um, as I, I was able to, for the first time, I think, actually provide breaking news last night that we're moving towards the, the launch being on uh, October 31st, a uh, nice Halloween launch. Um, and uh, uh, moving towards this, uh, we've been, the team's been carefully laying out planning, working through the sequence of, of the timing of a Soyuz arrival. It's a very busy October for us, Soyuz arrival, getting everything ready, and then, and then obviously getting ready for Crew-1. Um, we're very excited to be heading into our operational missions. This has been, this is a culmination of, of uh, a dream of us to have commercial crew rotation seats up on station and looking forward to many more to come.